Hello, my name is Kazil Kharkov and my project is titled The Bioinformatics Approach to Analyze the Gut Microbiota in Relation to Liver Cancer. This project has been completed in conjunction with Pine Biotech, uh, where my mentor was Dr. Raghav Lakshmi Narayanan. My project outline is a presentation about me, introduction, the data sets, the methodology or methods used, the results, conclusion, and future suggestions alongside the reference slides. About me, I am Ghazal Bhargav, a final year undergraduate completing their Bachelor of Technology in Bioinformatics in Amity University, Jaipur. My interests lie in research in cancer and metagenomics and using my uh, bioinformatics to unearth novel information. And this project is centered around the gut composition of mass muscular species, having liver cancer, which is analyzed using bioinformatics methods and tools. The introduction, primary liver cancer and metastasis are amongst the fourth leading causes of death with relation to cancer alongside being the seven most occurring cancer worldwide. Primary liver cancer is classified into two broad categories uh, on the basis of histology and they are hep hepatocellular carcinoma, HCC and intrahepatic phalange carcinoma, ICC. HCC is the most frequent type of liver cancer and originates in the hepatocytes, which are key to the immune system activation. ICC, on the other hand, is a lesser known form and lesser frequent form and occurs about 12 to 15 percent. It stems from cholangiocytes, which are basically the epithelial cells lining the bile duct. Here we can see the pictures of a healthy liver and an affected liver. Following that, we have the human gut. The human gut is home to numerous kinds of microbes, including but not limited to bacteria, viruses, and fungi. And all of these microorganisms have a symbiotic relationship, with not only livers, the human body as a whole. We have seen empirical evidences, uh, evidence with damaged levers being associated with dysbiosis or imbalance in the composition of gut microbiota. And there have been implications of altered gut microbiota influencing the progression of these diseases. Need for research. The implication of relationship between gut microbes and liver cancer is solidified by the fact that the microbial community in the gut have a range of essential functions like maintaining immune immune system preventing colonization by pathogens and also synthesizing metabolites which eventually end up passing through the liver and have an impact on the liver the data sets which have been used are not from the same project. They are from different projects and they are the control data set belongs to University of Missouri, Columbia and the cancer data set was submitted by Dr. Tim Gretel. So the control data set is of mass muscular species uh, and contains the normal sequences of the gut microbiota, whereas the cancerous uh, samples contain the gut microbiota sequences of mass muscular species affected by liver cancer. The methodology used, so here we use the ADA2 pipeline. And the ADA2 pipeline is specifically a pipeline which corrects Illumina sequence Dumblecon errors and infer sequences exactly. 
and it also resolves the difference of as little as one my uh, nucleotide so one difference from dada2 and other pipelines is that it performs denoising and follows it by merging the rings this denoising after merging reduces the rate of inaccuracy and makes dada2 unique amongst other pipelines so the start of the dada2 pipeline we read in the fast queue files fast queue files are basically faster files with their quality score written then we saw the forward and reverse read so forward and reverse reads basically mean uh, we submit two types of files which are single end reads and paired end reads single end reads are reads which have been separated and split into forward sections and reverse sections and then we have paired reads which contain both forward and reverse read in one file itself then we have quality inspection filtration which uses quality scores to trim sequence dereplication output uh, which gives us the output of unique sequences along with abundances uh, denoising then merging reads then removing of chimeras assigning the taxonomy and the phylogeny to the reads construction of the phylo sequence object which is also can which can be also utilized in our filtration of lower abundance reads and then analysis for diversity or any other further analysis to them so the results are proportional abundance class and control versus liver cancer gut microbiota with all the separate classes shown here and the cancerous samples are here and the control samples are here here we have the same graph but split according to the classes which is done by the facet function in our uh, our ggplot2 package and the output also uses our phylo sequence to get the graph so what we can see here is the classes beat up is that classes beat up proteobacteria molecules the fairy bacteries gamma proteobacteria and veruco microbiae are present in the cancerous samples and belong predominantly to negative gram strain bacteria their abundances are especially high then following that we have ba uh, bacteroidea bacilli clostridia delta proteobacteria which are present in equal composition in both cancerous and control uh, samples then we have actinobacteria coreobacteria and erythropoiea which are positive gram strain bacteria and present in high abundance melena bacteria alpha proteobacteria and negative negative acutes are negative bacteria present in equally high abundance in the control uh, data set we have fusobacteria spartobacteria and thermoliophilia which are a mixture of positive and negative strains present in both uh, in control data sets and are present in a lower abundance now i have mentioned here gram negative bacteria because gram ne negative bacteria have an extra membrane and are generally resistant to antibiotics and several classes of antibiotics have been designed to target gram negative bacteria so now here we have chao 1 and shannon 1 to 
measure the alpha diversity. So chow one is an estimator which is based on abundance. And basically it refers to the abundance of individuals belonging to the classes in the sample. So as we can see that the control samples have a lower, a higher to low abundance, more, mostly ranging on the higher side, whereas comparatively the cancerous uh, samples have a lower uh, measure. This, from this we can infer that the uh, cancerous data set has low number of singletons and double chins, whereas the chow, uh, whereas the control data sets have a higher number of singletons and double chins. Singletons or double tons refer to a species which have uh, been recorded once or twice in the samples. Now, Shannon index is used to uh, is used to measure the diversity across the data set and. Here we can see that the control data set overall have higher diversity. Although the cancerous data set or cancerous sample also do have a high diversity. Now we have the ordination plot. So we can see that the control data sets are divided into three explicit groups, whereas the cancerous data cells have a few outliers, but are also divided into three specific or explicit groups. So conclusions, microbes pre predominant in the cancerous samples are gram-negative bacteria, and we have also seen a low abundance of gram-positive bacteria in the same. Control samples, on the other hand, contain a balanced amount of both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, despite the lower or higher abundance. Now, CHAW-1 shows a clear distinction in the abundance of both can control and cancerous samples, with cancerous samples showing lower abundance and control samples showing a higher abundance. Shannon index has shown that both of these have a high range of diversity. And the ordination plot shows that the samples are divided into three clusters, each with more outliers present in the cancerous samples. Suggestions for future research includes in-depth analysis of the species present in the cancerous samples and how the absence of several gram-positive uh, bacteria classes impacts the gut and affects uh, affects liver cancer. Also, exploration of roles of several microbial classes in the gut bacteria and what causes their absence in the people suffering from liver cancer. Here are the references used in the project. And with this, I conclude my presentation.